So quiet is about the powers of introverts in a world that can't stop talking, and it's about the bias in our society against people who are quiet and cerebral and serious. You know, I think that what the book is doing is articulating something that people have been thinking both consciously and subconsciously for a really long time, but have never felt permission to say. And um, what the book is doing is opening up a conversation that people have longed to have for a long time. So the book really has three goals, and the first one is to change people's psyches, and particularly the psyches of introverts who for too long have felt kind of guilty and ashamed of being who they were and um, feeling guilty about their desire to go off and spend time by themselves. The book is saying it's okay to go and do that, and, and it's actually beneficial to you and to your society uh, to go off and think your thoughts. The, the second and third uh, goals of the book, though, are to change the way our schools and our workplaces are structured. You know, because right now they really are structured to meet the needs of extroverted children in the case of schools and of extroverted employees in the case of workplaces. And I'd really like to see us restructure um, both of these institutions to maximize the energies and the talents of both introverts and extroverts. You know, for the individual, I, I, I hope that this is going to be a book of empowerment for many people to live their lives the way they were meant to live it in the first place. What I always ask people is to think, if you could spend your days doing exactly as you wished, you know, if you could spend your work days, your weekends, the way you would like to spend them, would you be spending them with more solitude than you do now? Um, would you be socializing in a quieter way, you know, with just with close friends and family as opposed to the kind of socializing you do today? And I find that for many people, the answer to that question is yes, even for extroverts, because I, I, I think nowadays our society is so extroverted that even extroverts feel that they have to be on too much of the time and putting themselves out there too much of the time. And I'd like us all to have a little more freedom to be ourselves. And I would especially like us to give this sense of freedom to the next generation. Um, so I, I'm hoping that this message goes out to parents and to educators to think differently about the next generation of quiet children and about the talents that they have and the best way to cultivate them um, as talented people and as human beings.